So Mag TV. So Mag TV. So Mag TV. What is it? What is it? Speaking on urban life. So Mag TV. So Mag. So Mag. So Mag TV. Keeping Christ in the center of the conversation. What's happening? What's happening? This your man Brinson from God Chases Entertainment coming to you live from Ebor City, Florida, repping Soul Mag TV. You're in for a treat today. We have Youth Vega and Tadashi on today's show, rocking from Flavor Fest 13. Make sure you check out my homegirl Ruth Vega, rocking the crowd. Yeah. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone, download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation. This your man Princeton, and we are back. Soul Mag TV. We're about to go into an interview with my homegirl Ruth Vega. Make sure you catch her on Lionsmart.com. She's about to give you a sweet testimony and just let you know about what she's doing in the music industry and ministry. And check out her awesome video called Mighty Warrior. Keep it locked. Soul Mag TV. We in here. What's up, y'all? You are tuned into Soul Mag TV. And my name is Ruth Vega. Who's Ruth Vega? She's just a Puerto Rican girl who loves to glorify Christ through music. I love doing reggae, some reggae roots, some dance hall, a little bilingual. You guys can check my stuff out on iTunes. You can follow me on Twitter at Ruth Vega or catch me on Facebook. That's me. That's who I am. Um, my inspirations in music right now, um, Sherwin Gardner is a big influence. Um, the Truth is a huge influence uh, lyrically. Um, some Latin artists, Alex Surdo, Ivan Dos Filo from Puerto Rico. Um, Michelle Bonilla is a great influence in my life, just on a personal level, a great mentor. Um, well, I grew up in church. Um, since I was a little girl, I, it, it was a custom for me to go to church two, three times a week. And, um, but when you go through, you know, you get to those teenage years, that church is just kind of like routine. You just go because mom tells you to go, dad goes, grandma tells you. So I got to a place where I needed to like own my own faith. And um, with that, I just went through a lot of, uh, of an identity crisis. I started to experiment with things and drinking and partying and doing all that. So I really had a few years of, of deep darkness. And I can recall that, I, you know, people tell me, oh, 
when did you get saved? How was that? How was that experience? And, and I'm like, well, it definitely wasn't at an altar. I didn't have that church experience um, that a lot of people have. I was driving to work, um, had about a 30 minute drive. And I was actually listening to Carrie Underwood's Jesus Take the Wheel. And as I'm driving, I just start to weep. And I felt this pain inside of me and this emptiness. And, and I had a nice car, I had money, I, I, had, I had anything a girl would want. Um, but I felt so empty and the unhappiness was so thick and, and the pain was so deep that I just recall listening to that song and saying, all right, God, I'm just, I give up. I'm done, you just take it. I'm done trying, uh, I'm done living without you. I'm gonna go full force and, and just completely be sold out for you. And I really haven't been the same since. So I believe I got saved in a Honda by myself. Oh, wow, there's so much I could say. What comes to mind is uh, you set the standard for how you're treated. Um, so value yourself, love yourself above all things. Just know that God has called you, that you're, you have value and that you deserve to be loved and respected and don't settle for anything less than that. Um, practically speaking too, get plugged into a church if you're not plugged in. Don't just attend, be the church. Uh, get, get involved, uh, serve somewhere, get accountability, live in a community, a community, allow people to be in your business, allow people to get in your life, allow people to tell you when you're wrong, let them encourage you. Don't live this life on an island. That's not what we're called to do in young adults. We struggle with this rebellion. And um, these folks that are older than us, they've been down the roads that we're going down and they can kind of warn us on where the, the, the pits are. So um, it's really important to have mentors, to have leaders that are walking with us. So that's, th that's the, the first couple things that come to my mind. There's a whole world of advice that I could give, but love yourself and get plugged into a community. Gentle as a lamb and bold as a lion. Weak and mild yet bold with power. Es el cordero y mi campeón, Ruth Vega. My God is king, he stands alone. He rules, he reigns upon the throne. All men will answer to him. He's the judge and will not be dethroned. Trod in the road of disaster. One day they will answer. They're acting bold, but soon they'll face the fire for denying the master. He's righteous and victorious, glorious, adventurous. You blasphemous, thinking that he needs you. He is autonomous. Why are you so scandalous, acting notorious, rebellious? My God is marvelous, miraculous, always protecting us. Weak and mild, yet bold with power. Carpenter from Nazareth and a mighty warrior. Weak and mild, yet bold with power. Carpenter from Nazareth and a mighty warrior. Sigo de gloria en gloria, haciendo historia. En Cristo tengo la victoria. El pronto viene por su novia. Cordero campeón, rey de reyes, fuego consumidor. Creador, consolador, no hay nadie como el salvador. Muchos no se dan cuenta que les queda poco tiempo. Viven a su manera, pero el tiempo va corriendo. Con amor lo estoy diciendo tú, alma se está perdiendo. No seas como la hoja que se la lleva el viento. Weak and mild, yet bold with power. Carpenter from Nazareth and a mighty warrior. Weak and mild, yet bold with power. Carpenter from Nazareth and a mighty warrior. Tired of people treating my God like he's a fraud. Acting hard in crisis, that's the only time they call God. Then who's the fraud? Surrender to the Lord. His word can be ignored or you will face the sword. He's coming back, eyes on fire, jealous for his bride, his only desire. Lord of Lords, written on his thighs, coming back like a teeth in the night. Meek and mild, yet bold with power. Carpenter from Nazareth and a mighty warrior. Meek and mild, yet bold with power. 
Carpenter from Nazareth and the mighty warrior. Carpenter from Nazareth and the mighty warrior. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carpenter from Nazareth and the mighty warrior. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone. Download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation. What's happening? This your man Branson, God Chases Entertainment, repping Soul Mag TV today. You just seen a lot of great things and heard a lot of great things from my homegirl Ruth Vega. Now we're about to get into one of the founding members of the 116 Click. His name is T Dot, also known as Tadashi. You're gonna hear an interview from him from Flavor Fest 13. Then we're gonna get into his brand new video, Last Goodbye. Stay tuned, Soul Mag TV. What's going on, everybody? It's your man Tadashi. Listen, right now with Soul Mag, chilling, hanging out out here at Flavor Fest. Uh, love being out here, get a chance to do music. I've been doing music now for a while. My latest album, Black Light. Hopefully, you have it. If you don't, you need to get it. Uh, but, you know, here, doing some songs off that and then getting the opportunity to speak as well. Um, work with a lot of producers. Uh, go to a church in Dallas called uh, the Village Church and just getting poured into there, uh, trained up and hopefully equipped to do the work of the ministry. So, yeah. Who inspired me and when did I know I wanted to first do it? Yeah. Um, God. <laughs> um, so I became a Christian at a young age while in college and uh, the dude that led me to Christ was the first person to ever encourage me to write a rap that Jesus would have been the main topic of. Uh, and no lie, when I first heard that, I was like, that's corny, that's, that's a little foolish, no one does that. Um, I can't show up where somebody playing Tupac and then just all of a sudden start rapping about Jesus. It, it, it don't mix, it ain't gonna happen. Um, but it did mix, it did happen. Uh, I just wasn't very good and it was a horrible song and I'm grateful no one recorded that <laughs> um, looking back. But uh, inspiration now, uh, man, I love working with the dudes I work with. Uh, Triple E is my favorite rapper. I don't say that flippantly. I'm not cavalier about making that statement. Triple E is my favorite rapper. Dude can really rap. Man, you had to add that spiritual aspect at the end. Because <laughs> I was finna say, go get a real job. Like, like, no, I'm not even being funny. Like, go get a degree, find a career, and then provide for your family. Um, but spiritually, uh, to be the salt of the earth. Honestly, I would just encourage people to to um, find who their what their identity is in Christ. Uh, be true to that. Not try to be anybody else, but who God has called them to be. Um, you know, I, I, I say that as a person who uh, would would have loved to play in the NFL, would have loved to have been a football player. Um, and so I find myself at times when I'm around the football uh, world. Uh, feeling like God, I, 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 maybe I could have done, or maybe I wish I would have, but God is like, no, I put you here. Be grateful for where you are. Um, this is who I called you to be. And so just encourage dudes to, to do that. Um, as far as the salt of the earth, just fight to know your, your, what your identity is and then flesh that out. Um, and then off of that, <clears throat> more practically, <clears throat> if this is something you want to do, um, I would just have a plan. I would have like a five-year plan of, when this is five years in, where will I be? What would it look like? And I don't mean success from a, I rap in front of, I used to rap in front of five people, now it's 500, now it's 5,000, now it's 50,000. Like, I don't mean that. I mean, what's your genuine goal in doing this besides um, saving souls? Because if, if cats were really content with just doing this for the sake of sharing the gospel, they would be just on street corners doing it. But dudes want to do shows, dudes want to travel, they want to be on tours. Uh, and so in that regard, I'm like, Let's have a plan. Let's figure out where we're going. So.
see this hit her cheeks like Tyson's glove. Pain hits his heart as she fights for love. She says, don't go, but the call came. It's time to deploy, and they called his name. Close to zero, 0500, her mind starts wandering. Butterflies, tummy starts rumbling. Queasy, uneasy, trying to hold it all together. She doesn't want the last moments here to be unpleasant. The car ride is quiet outside. It's hard to fight it inside. It's like she's dying. And that's when she started crying He tries to comfort her Baby, it's all right Liar, that's what she screams louder From the thoughts of fright They pray, it's okay I promise that I'll be safe uh, That's what he tells her As he looks her in her face And as he walks away Looking in her eye Last kiss, as they say I pray this is not our last goodbye Her nine weeks are done, hoorah, hoopla, now it's time to move on, leaving out of basic, she just got her assignment, she's headed off to war and it's hard for her to face it, or face her, the daughter that she's leaving, it's hard to come to terms with the truth, no one believes it, and even when it's staring in your face, you don't receive it, she hears mommy, and it's just like her heart stopped beating, beating. Inhales, heavy breathing, worried when she leaves, she may not be back to see them. Her baby girl and the family that she loves, trying to hold back the tears. Right now it's tough. She fights to stay strong, gotta hold on. She says a prayer, just trying to find the calm. Thoughts of eternity, then back to reality. And then she tells her family, I pray this is not our last goodbye. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone. Download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation. What's happening? What's happening? This your man, Brinson, God Chases Entertainment, hosting this week's episode of Soul Mag TV with my homegirl, Ruth Vega, and the big homie, Tadashi. We heard some powerful testimonies and just powerful things in their ministry that they spoke about. Big shout out to Tadashi, the whole 116 click, Lecrae, Andy Minio. Uh, all those guys that are doing work across the globe. And big shout out to the homegirl, Ruth Vega. Make sure you check her out, lionsmart.com. They're doing excellent work in the kingdom. But before we finish up this Soul Mag edition, first I want to give a shout out to the big homie, Urban D, Crossover Church Temple. Y'all know what it is. Uh, we want to break down just thinking about how much God means to you. Um, you really got to just strip a lot of your life back and see that every blessing and every good thing comes from the Lord. You know, we pray for a lot of things. We, you know, some of us pray for more finances, for uh, health, to get more fit, whatever the case may be. But 
at the center of everything, you just got to remember who you're praying to. Uh, Matthew 6 and 21 says, where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. And we have to be so careful as Christians and believers that we don't put our faith and put our hope in things that's not going to be here. We don't want to put our hope inside of a car, even inside a relationship, outside of the relationship of Christ. Um, marriages have been failing. Boyfriend and girlfriends break up. The only person who will remain true and faithful in your life is Jesus. So we just want to place our heart that God is the, is the only thing that we need. Jesus is the, the key to our hope, the key to our belief. If you look at uh, King David, he was like a, a Old Testament celebrity. He had an entourage. He was like the big rapper back in the day. You know, he slayed a giant. He had riches. You know, he had the chariots with the rims on it. He's, you know, he just was, he was that dude. But in Psalms 51, with all the things that David had, he said, Lord, don't take your spirit away from me. He didn't say, don't take your kingdom. He didn't say, don't take uh, this palace. Don't take Bathsheba. Don't take any of this stuff. He said, God, don't take your spirit away from me because the spirit of the Lord is what's most important in our lives. And we just have to reflect and you have to ask yourself questions. If Is there anything that I'm putting in front of my relationship with God is, I, am I valuing my car or, or my relationship with somebody? And is my love in the wrong place? Is my heart in the wrong place? Because if that's where your treasure is, our, we need to set our treasure in the hope that is Christ Jesus. God should be our hope. He should be our everything. He should be our center. He is the most important thing in our life. If you know, you look at that verse in Philippians, it said we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. But let's flip it on the other side. We can't do anything without Christ. So we have to posture ourselves to be in the right manner that Jesus is all that I need. So, Soul Mag TV, this is your man Brinson. Big shout out to the Juice TV Network. Until next time, we out. You just watched the TV show. Now go check out Soul Mag, the actual magazine. Go to soulmag.tv to download any one of the previous issues or watch previous episodes of the TV show all for free. Pull out your smartphone, download the brand new Soul Mag app. Just search Soul Mag in the Android or the Apple Store. Soul Mag, we're speaking on urban life. Join the conversation.